the erstwhile ace gets little help from his offense or defense as the Mariners fall 7-1 to open the three-game series. There were no angry screams or displays of frustration as Felix Hernandez trudged off the Safeco field mound. He knew he was done after five innings, and there was almost a helpless acceptance to what had transpired. He wasn't crisp, he wasn't dominant and he did little to give his team a chance to win. Even the crowd of 26,554 was restless, not knowing whether to applaud the effort or continuing to grumble among themselves as he exited the field. It's another reminder that the version of King Felix they once knew and loved isn't coming around on most nights. Hernandez wasn't the only reason the Mariners slogged through a 7-1 defeat to the Rockies. The offense mustered little against Colorado starter German Marquez, the defense behind Hernandez was far from impenetrable and his replacement Ronis Elias wasn't particularly effective. The loss was a team failure. That was a dud, manager Scott Survey said. Unfortunately, that happens once in a while. Colorado has been playing very well. They have a good club, and they can hit. We didn't play a good ball game all the way around. We made some mistakes. We just weren't sharp. It just wasn't our night. But Hernandez's season of ups, downs, runs allowed in the first inning, command issues, modified warm-ups and changed routines has made him into a pitching version of Hamlet, a tormented royal with a constant inner conflict of who he once was versus who he has to be going forward. His outing, good or bad, will always be the focus on any game he starts. He had a hard time putting anybody away tonight, Survey said. His stuff didn't have much crispness to it. No real bottom to the changeup. It was a rough night. He struggled to get through five innings. Hernandez, 8-7, pitched five innings, allowing three runs on eight hits with no walks and two strikeouts. I hate that, he said. I hate when I only go five. I want to get deeper in games. There were no signs of the stiff lower back that had bothered him in some recent outings. While Survey thought it might have affected his changeup, Hernandez wouldn't use it as an excuse. It wasn't a factor at all, he said. I was up on every pitch I threw in the first two innings. And then I made an adjustment. The velocity on his pitches was a few ticks higher than his last few outings. But Hernandez's command wasn't particularly crisp or precise, a persistent problem of late. It wasn't sharp at all, he said. Changeup wasn't there, and I didn't have the curveball that I'm used to. I had a good fastball, but I wasn't putting it in good locations. It was up, and I made some mistakes. His first run allowed didn't come on a bad pitch. He threw a decent 1-2 curveball to the left-handed hitting Charlie Blackman. But the all-star outfielder was able to drop the bat head and golf the pitch in the bottom part of the zone over the wall in right field for a 1-0 lead. The Rockies added two more runs in the second inning. Rymel Tapia led off with a double and scored on Tony Walter's triple to right center. DJ Lemma you played at Walter's with a sacrifice fly to make it 3-0. Hernandez's replacement, Elias, wasn't that much better. Elias gave up three runs in the sixth inning. The Mariners' lone run came on a solo homer from Dinard Spann, who had three hits, in the sixth inning. Seattle could have had two runs in the inning, but D. Gordon was thrown out at the plate trying to score on a wild pitch. Gordon didn't slide and made an awkward stride. He tweaked his hip. Survey said, I think he'll be okay. I didn't think it's anything too serious. He made a funny jab at the plate and landed awkwardly. He felt something right away, and it was precautionary to get him out of the game. And not sliding, I don't have a problem with him taking off and trying to score on the play. Survey said, D is usually safe on that play when he takes off. Obviously, he should have got down on the play. I think he would have been safe if he slid.